Hello ladies and gentlemen, Ryan John here and today we've got a very special guest introducing this behind the scenes video from Legend Player Zone. Introducing former boxing champion and actor, Gary Stretch. Hello, he's very attractive, this reminds me. Are you free later? No. Okay. <laughs> um, no, we're here doing the behind the scenes uh, video footage for the Legend Play Zone, the Billy Sutton story. I've just fl flown in from sunny La La Land and uh, come up to Brixham and uh, met all the boys and uh, we're having a great time and uh, we're making a movie so uh, I, I I would ask you all to tune in post comments do whatever the fuck you want but support this movie because it's going to be tremendous enjoy the video Hi, I'm Sarah and I am the director of The Legend Plays On and today we are filming City. His scene four is where he leaves his home to go down to meet his friends and the cafe and to meet the journalist that is part of this very story. Um, and we've been working with City this morning, we've literally rearranged all of his flat for him, but he actually really likes it and he's going to keep it. Um, so we're just getting little bits now done on the final pieces of the story. Um, so we're kind of doing the fillers at the moment, so we're almost all the way through, three quarters of the way through, um, and we're looking forward to getting it finished and then getting it post, um, getting all the editing done that we need to do, um, and getting it out there for you all. Hi, my name's Gary Stretch. I'm a friend of William Sutton, aka Sutty. So I met Billy in Miami. Um, I was a former professional boxer, and I was taking a vacation in Miami, and I saw this this very distinguished man with a bunch of young kids, and the kids were so well behaved, and they followed him everywhere, and I just didn't know what 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 was going on, but I was intrigued and. Um, and I went over and introduced myself to Sutty, and he knew me from the fight. He knew I was a fighter, and uh, we struck up a conversation. And uh, and he invited me the following day to go to the um, the police station and meet all the troops. And then they took me out in a in a car, but they were doing raids of drug raids, and and then I learned that Billy had been involved uh, in England, uh, and he'd set up. Uh, little league, uh, little league football for kids, and uh, he'd done so so many different things behind the scenes. No credit, his own money. He was flying in and out of Miami, uh, paying for everything, and just really just trying to help the community, two communities across the world. Uh, and I basically, uh, I said, you know what, Billy? I, wow, I felt I was very f humbled because. Uh, it's very rare that you, you know, most people do things, you know, for themselves. He was doing it, everything he did for everybody else. And I just said to him, you know, uh, we became friends, and I said, if there's anything I can ever do, Billy, you know, involve me, and I got involved, and and we stuck with a friendship. This extraordinary life, I, I've always felt there should have been a movie made, and a lot of people have thought there should be a movie made. And of course, I knew that finally a bunch of kids uh, had finally got together and, and with great spirit decided to make Billy's film come alive and, and it, uh, I've always thought it would be an extraordinary film uh, it, and as you know I was talking to my producers, you know it took Forrest Gump 16 years to get made everybody turned down Passion of the Christ so it's very very difficult and I think the Billy Sutton story is a difficult story because it's a true story and when you get involved with true stories there's a lot of technical things and things have got to be correct and so it, it just takes I think sometimes an initial spark to light the fire and uh, a bunch of these kids uh, got together and great passion brought on the wonderful director and they've uh, They've lit the flame, so I, I believe that this short will lead into a feature, um, and it's a feature that should should be made. It, you know, his life is extraordinary from being a playboy in the '60s to, but it, like everything else, you know, nothing lasts forever, and 
and Billy ended up lying in a warehouse covered in shit and piss with rat running across him. Uh, everyone thought he was dead. He was dead. Uh, maybe not physically. But he just he just couldn't do it anymore. And you know it's 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 strange because he's the same man now, but instead of performing for everybody else, dancing on tables, drunk, he's performing for kids. He's performing for people who need him. And he's not drunk and he's not dancing. He's doing it standing and walking straight. But he's the same man. But it, he got off the ground in a warehouse and he strained his life up and just give back to the world so much. And what a movie. So, um, yeah, I'm a big supporter. Uh, I'm hopefully, you know, whatever he wants me to do to help, uh, I'm, I'm in. And, um, you know, hopefully this short film will, will, will get a film made that really matters. And uh, we need more of these kind of movies. We need more, more Billy Suttons in the world. But sadly, they come once in a blue moon. But I was very happy to be part of his journey.